There are a couple of tools to easily find people within all of your footage. This is super useful for when you're making wedding videos and let's say you're working on a speech and you wanna do cutaways to the different people that are being referenced in that speech. We can save a lot of time by just having DaVinci Resolve auto detect faces and then we can put names to those faces so that we can put them into a smart bin and easily go into our media pool, pick the smart bin, and then select the people to add into our project. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve so I can show you how to do that. All right, so I'm gonna quickly add in some footage here. I'm just gonna come over to media and drop that folder in here. Now this is just stock footage, so there's a lot of weird things with this. As you can see here, this is looks like a wedding, right? With these two here. But then as you look through here, it's kind of funny because this guy that was in the background here is in a wedding of his own. <laughs> so it, it, it's just one of those funny things with working with stock footage that you see. We're just going to select everything here by just hitting uh, Control or Command A to select everything, then right clicking. And from here, we're gonna go to Analyze Clips for People. It's gonna go through, like I said, it's gonna find all of the different faces. And then once it's done finding all of the faces in all of the duration of the clip, it's going to try to match as many as it can that it finds that look similar. Okay, so now that we're done with that, it feels like it's found 11 and then there's an other uh, people as well. So here are all the different people that it has currently found. And so if we click on any of these, so let's click on this one. And so as you can see here, these little boxes are the current detection that it's grouped up as a single person. So we can see that it did pretty well on these, right? All pretty much look like the same person there. So let's come back up to people. And from here, we can start to throw names on the different people. So let's go over here. Let's call this Bob. And then in here, we'll call this uh, Emma. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we can go into this other people and we can see that it uh, it is only detected these faces one time and that's because all of these shots here are actually just one clip and this was from a different shoot so because it only detected it once it didn't uh, group it up with any other um, so if we wanted to uh, you know have these as specific people we can do that but i want to go down a little bit more because we have a couple of uh, shots here so like i was saying how uh they're all of these shots are the same it thinks that it's detecting different people in them, right? So these two kind of look the same. So let's use these two because it looks like this one here and this one here are the same person as well. So this wasn't one of the people over here. So we're just going to right click in here, tag as new person. And we're just going to give her a different name. And so that's that detection. We'll take this one as Olivia as well. This one as Olivia. Same with this one. So the big thing that you can notice here is a lot of these, except for these up here, because like I said, that's just a single shot. So it wasn't able to match it up with any other shots. Um, but a lot of these that you see are typically, that's just completely wrong, but a lot of the times where it seems like it's currently having issues is when it's a profile, which makes sense. Uh, but we can go through this list and if there are specific people, like we can see that we had this one here. And if I come back over here, we can see that that was Bob, right? So if we come back down, we can call this one, that it's Bob, Bob. And here's also Bob. So I just jumping in here while editing, I completely forgot to talk about the improved people grouping results. Uh, that is kind of like an in-between point when it comes to the neural engine's confidence. So if things are confident, then it automatically groups things up. If things, if it's not confident that it's a match at all, it just doesn't group. But if there's some that sometimes fall in that in-between portion. And so when you click on that button, it's going to show you like side by side and it's just going to ask, is this the same person? If you hit yes, then it'll group them. If you hit no, then it'll just ignore it, obviously. So yeah, I completely forgot to say uh, what that was, sorry.
So once we go through and we have all of our people select it, man, it's really not good at the profiles. But anyways, once we have all of our people select it, we can hit close and it doesn't look like anything has really changed. But what has changed is if I go into one of these shots and we come up here to metadata, we can see here we have um, something in the people. Now with metadata, we can use smart bins. We could come down here and create a smart bin right by coming in here add smart bin and then we could easily go into here and go shot and scene and then switch this down to uh people and then put in here bob and we can see all the bob ones but instead of doing that and going through every single person there's actually an easier way that we could do this where it will auto create with the people that we already have in the system so if we come up here to davinci resolve and go into preferences from here we go over into user and we just come down to editing and then in here we have uh, automatic smart bins automatic smart bins for people metadata because there is metadata for the people it will auto create those smart bins so if i come in here to people we have a drop down with all of the different people so look, let's say we're back over here on our edit and let's say we have a bunch of footage here like we were saying at the beginning, we're working on a speech and we right here, we wanna get one more shot of Bob. Pop this open, go into here, here are all the shots of Bob. So that pretty much concludes using the people auto detect, also adding in the auto generated smart bins so you can easily find the specific people and not having to manually create all of those smart bins. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna know more about DaVinci Resolve and get in the nitty gritty features that DaVinci Resolve has to offer, take a look at the website. I have a bunch of courses over there going over everything DaVinci Resolve, over 24 hours of content currently. And I also have a bunch of pre-made assets if you're into that, like titles, transitions, bar charts, that sort of thing. Uh, take a look at the website. There's a link in the description for more information on that. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Throw me a like. If if you did and till the next one guys have a good one see you